third one, third bit. First question is limit extends to minus infinity. 2x plus 3 by under root of x square minus 1. Second question is limit extends to infinity 2 plus sin x by x square plus 3. Third one is limit extends to infinity 2 plus cos square x by x plus 2007. Fourth one limit extends to minus infinity 6x square minus cos 3x by x square plus 5. Limit extends to infinity cos x plus sin square x by x plus 1. First you can observe the first question is we can follow the same as the previous solution that is limit extends to minus infinity 2x plus 3 by under root of x square minus 1 it is equal to limit extends to minus infinity in the numerator taking common x 2 plus 3 by x in the denominator taking common x square 1 minus 1 by x square it is equal to limit extends to infinite minus infinity x into 2 plus 3 by x by under root x square means that is x into under root of 1 minus 1 by x square x x get cancelled then we can take as x tends to minus infinity then 1 by x tends to 0 1 by x square is also tends to 0. So we can apply here 2 plus 0 by under root of 1 minus 0. It is 2 only. Okay, the limit is 2. This is the first solution. In the second, third, fourth, fifth, you can observe this. Each and every function is related with the x variable or constant and sine cos x. In that case, we can take the sandwich theorem okay the sandwich theorem is nothing but we can take the two functions g of x and h of x the between function is given function we can relate the function is with the another two functions those two functions are having which limits then the between function is also having the same limit in 2 to 5 we can apply the sandwich theorem relation the second solution is <coughs> first we can take the question that is limit x tends to infinity 2 plus sin x by x square plus 3. Here first we can concentrate about the sin x. The sin x, the range of the sin x the range of the sin x is minus 1 to 1. That is nothing but minus 1 is less than or equal to sin x is less than or equal to 1. <coughs> Next, adding with 2. The relation is adding with 2. So, 2 minus 1 is less than or equal to 2 plus sin x less than or equal to 2 plus 1. That is 1 is less than or equal to 2 plus sin x is less than or equal to 3. Next, we can, the whole relation is divides with x square plus 3. Then we are getting 1 by x square plus 3 is less than or equal to 2 plus sin x by x square plus 3 is less than or equal to 3 by x square plus 3. It is in the form of g of x is less than or equal to f of x is less than or equal to h of x, where g of x is equal to 1 by x square plus 3. f of x is the given function. h of x is equal to 3 by x square plus 3. And f of x equal to 2 plus sin x by x square plus 3. Now we can find out the limit of g of x and h of x. So both are having which limit values then by the sandwich theorem f of x has the same limit. So we can find out the limit extends to infinity g of x 
it is equal to limit x tends to infinity 1 by x square plus 3. It is equal to limit x tends to infinity 1 by x square taking common 1 plus 3 by x square. It is equal to limit x tends to infinity 1 by x square by 1 plus 3 by x square. If x tends to infinity, then 1 by x tends to 0 and also 1 by x square is also tends to 0. So this is equal to 0 by 1 plus 0 is equal to 0. So limit of g of x is 0. And again, find out the limit of h of x. Limit x tends to infinity h of x. It is equal to limit x tends to infinity 3 by x square plus 3 equal to limit x tends to infinity in the denominator taking common x square then that is 1 plus 3 by x square <coughs> it is equal to limit x tends to infinity x square is taking to numerator 3 by x square by 1 plus 3 by x square here also as x tends to infinity, then 1 by x tends to 0, 1 by x square is also tends to 0. It is 0 plus 1, 0 by 1 plus 0 is 0. From this, we can say that limit h of x, limit x tends to infinity, g of x is equal to 0 and limit x tends to infinity, h of x is equal to 0. Okay, by Sandwich theorem, or squeezing principle, limit x tends to infinity f of x is also equal to zero. Therefore, limit x tends to infinity 2 plus sin x by x square plus 3 is equal to 0. Third problem, limit x tends to infinity 2 plus cos square x by x plus 2007. Here, we can take the range of cos x is minus 1 to 1. Okay, that is. But cos square x range is zero to one. That is nothing but zero is less than or equal to cos square x is less than or equal to one. Next, what we can, what we have in the numerator two, add with two. Two plus zero is less than or equal to cos square x plus two or two plus cos square x less than or equal to two plus one. Two is less than or equal to two plus cos square x is less than or equal to three. Next, the whole relation is divided with x plus 2007. That is two by x plus 2007 less than or equal to 2 plus cos square x by 2 plus, sorry, x plus 2007 less than or equal to 3 by x plus 2007. It is in the form of g of x is less than or equal to f of x is less than or equal to h of x. Here g of x is equal to 2 by x plus 2007, f of x equal to 2 plus cos square x by x plus 2007, h of x equal to 3 by x plus 2007. We can find out the limit of g of x and h of x. Limit x tends to infinity g of x equal to limit x tends to infinity 2 by x plus 2007. 
in the denominator taking common x 2 by x into 1 plus 2007 by x it is equal to limit x tends to infinity 2 by x by 1 plus 2007 by x <coughs> if x tends to infinity then 1 by x tends to 0 so limit x tends to infinity g of x is equal to it's 0 by 1 plus 0 is equal to 0. Next to find out the limit x tends to infinity h of x it is equal to limit x tends to infinity 3 by x plus 2007. Here also taking common x in the denominator 1 plus 2007 by x equal to limit x tends to infinity 3 by x by 1 plus 2007 by x. It is equal to 0 by 1 plus 0 equal to 0. By Sandwich theorem, limit x tends to infinity f of x is also 0. Therefore, limit x tends to infinity 2 plus cos square x by x plus 2007 is equal to 0. <coughs>